哇哇哇哇！哇 ！Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Ghost Lake Garden. I'm your host, Bone Score, and today, today we're playing some Hyrule Warriors. We were gonna play a little bit yesterday, but uh, the rainstorm and etc. So here we are today. Um, hopefully, we'll have a bit of an easier time getting through Legend Mode because I've been playing Adventure Mode uh, and people have been getting leveled up. So. It should make uh, should make this a bit easier, in theory. There we go. I'm trying to put an end to this hair elastic. It has been tearing and loosening and falling out all over the place. It is trash now. Whoop. A little trash bag it goes. So yeah, we're going to play a little bit more Legend Mode today. And see just how far we can get. And have a good time with it. Puppy, what are you all huffy about? <clears throat> are you huffy about the squeakiness of my chair? That's what I'm huffy about. I, I, I gotta get like some grease down there or something. I don't know. How are you doing? Are you a good boy? Are you? Yeah, we're on. We're on right now. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. You're handsome as always. Um, do we have anything to announce, puppy? Oh, son of a whore. We have our Discord event this weekend, and I have still not had a chance to post details about it. I'll have to do that tonight. My apologies, everybody. But our Discord event is on Saturday. It is still going on. <clears throat> I just have to get around to actually putting the details up. Sorry about that. Uh, aside from that, I don't think there's anything really going on. So, we can get right into things. Uh, Lognagos here. Welcome, buddy. Welcome. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Hope all is good with you. Lognagos said, Goddamn Disney Plus, I don't give any craps. I'm with you on that one, dude. To hell with it. Too many streaming platforms. Uh, early doggo today. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, he hanging out for an early vibe check. How was your birthday after you had to end it? It was okay. Um, so we... We stopped. Uh, we ended the stream because... Um, there we go. We ended the stream because there was... Uh, fucking bad skies and wind and we could hear the thunder rolling pretty heavy uh so i was like let's just shut it down um <clears throat> and like five ten minutes after i shut my computer off uh the power went out so <laughs> the stream would have ended anyways um we're not playing challenger adventure mode uh <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it went out, um, and killed the stream, so, uh, we kind of just sat, I hooked up my Bluetooth speaker to my phone, and Hyde and I, uh, watched a video on, on YouTube for, for like an hour, we watched a, a new part in an LP we're watching, and, um, and then he went home, and, uh, I, ironically, like, uh, I think it was, like, 10, 20 minutes after he went home, the power came back on, so, I don't know, I just got in my jammies and played some more Zelda, had a good time of it, it was alright, good, good birthday all in all, I still have yet to actually hear from, uh, one set of grandparents, they've not, like, come by or call or anything, but it was kind of the same thing last year, so don't really expect a whole lot out of them anymore. <clears throat> I 
I probably won't even see them until probably the week after my brother's birthday. So, uh, I did, however, um, I did pick up Monster Hunter Rise while it was on sale, um, and I installed that and checked it out today. It's a little, eh, um, like in terms of it running, uh, I have to... I have to do like the the reset on my computer um like i just installed it and checked it out I, I didn't like reboot like i usually do which helps it run cleaner um and i gotta try dicking with some of the video settings in game and see if i can't get it to shape up a bit but if not then at least it's there for when i get my new processor which should be relatively soon uh i did want to point out Real quick, yeah. Um, so as you guys can see, like the levels on all of these guys have gone up. Um, everybody, I think, is sitting oh, okay. Save for Ruto, maybe. Ruto and some of the villains, I think. And yeah, I okay. So I unlock Tingle. <laughs> He's available on the uh, on the adventure mode map. Um, haven't tried him yet. His weapon is the balloon? Yeah. Yeah, not sure what the deal is there. Um, but <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess around with him later. Uh, yeah, pretty much everybody uh, has gone up to at least level 10, if not level 20. Um, etc, etc. Uh, the ones that are higher are getting used more often, as you can probably assume. Uh, there's something else I found out too, which is really cool. Um, where can I show that off? Right here. We'll not actually uh, go in and do it, but uh, something I didn't know until before, something I was um, messing around with. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, if we go into adventure mode, and yes, you can see the map is a lot more explored and etc. Um, if we go down here, yeah. <clears throat> So if you guys can see uh, to the left of Link there, the icon is like a little t-shirt on the little bronze uh, victory sign. Uh, that indicates that you get a new costume. A new costume for one of your characters. Uh, I don't think there's any way to tell who it's for or which one it is, uh, like, without using a guide or whatever. But some of them already come with, like, pre-loaded uh, costume changes. So, at least in this edition, they seem to. So, Link, for example, we can come in and I hit the X button. It actually tells you at the bottom there. Um, select, uh, change costume, return OK. Uh, I, I never read that stuff because, like, buttons are so intuitive, right? Like, um, but you hit change costume and there's a whole list of them here so there's his standard outfit there's his trainee tunic from the beginning of the game uh this one i just unlocked yesterday i think this is a standard um with the definitive edition i think uh which i really like i think i might actually start wearing this for a couple of battles see how it goes and then there's classic tunic like from og legend of zelda um I think I'll start wearing Arrow of the Wilds for a little bit, uh, but we're not using him just yet, and I don't think, yeah, we don't have costumes for either of these people yet, so we'll just go in and we'll see how it goes. I've been feeding Pell a little bit of uh, some of the good food we've been finding. Um, And her stats have gone up a little bit. It has doesn't really make much of a difference, I don't think. But she's up to level 16 now, so her spells should be a little bit stronger. Wild Tunit look, looks exactly like Breath of the Wild. It is. That's exactly what it is. I think there's uh, there might be a couple of costumes from other games, too. I'm not sure. Um, Zelda also has a Breath of the Wild skin uh, preloaded into this. Lugneck goes, oh, nice. I've been watching Black Clover finally finish the Elves arc now. Oh, excellent! Now it's the training thing? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't remember if that's where they cut off or not. Don't keep her finally released three hours ago officially. Oh, that's pretty cool. Did you pick it up? Have you started playing it yet? That's that one you were showing me. It's having like a... Uh... Is is that the one that's having the Terraria crossover, or is it, or that's a different game? <clears throat> oh, this is cute. That like, Impa doesn't know about the person who's named themselves after her people. <laughs> there's there's no. <laughs> It's so awkward, like, now that, now that you have, like, like, modern day, like, realistic uh, context for this kind of thing, um, it, like, naming your character after, like, the race you're trying to impersonate is super offensive, right? Like, it... I feel like it would be uh, like on the same level, if, like if Sheik had put on blackface and called herself African, like like as her name, right? Hello, my name is African. Like super offensive, super super like not cool, right? Zelda's transformation or disguising like as Sheik is probably one of the most egregious. Uh, um, instances of cultural appropriation, I think. In fiction. In fiction. Let's relax everybody out there. Way more, way more upsetting than when Pikachu tried to wear the cue ball skull. Uh, cue ball? The cue bone skull. God damn. There's so many Pokemon now, I can't even keep the ones that I know in order. Or accurate, or what have you. I can't do a Pokemon no more. You can't reasonably, reasonably expect anyone to, though. I mean, come on. Come on, that's nuts. Okay, there's way too many of these goons here, but if I can at least thin them out, then we can... So one thing I've learned is, like, you don't have to clear out everybody, but if you can thin out the little ones and take out all of the big ones, then your guys should be able to spawn in and clean it up. If there are larger enemies on the field, like... It, it's harder to tell with the Gorons, I think, because, like, you, like, it's the ones with the armor, yeah, that are, like, the, the leaders and whatnot. The ones that you can lock onto. Um, they're typically the ones that'll give your dudes a harder time. Yeah, see, now there's little ones with armor. It's these larger ones, I guess. But, yeah, it's, it's easier to tell with, like, the villain enemies, like the, the Gibdos and the... The little foes and, and that kind of shit. Da -da -da -da. I gotta remember that unless the fucking game tells me to, I don't necessarily need to capture all of the keeps. Because I'm not looking for bonuses. Am I? No, I am, right. Shit, there are hidden things in this mode. God damn it. Oh, there's so much. There's so much fucking completion. And I... have to be careful that I don't merc too many guys before we get access to the whole rest of the map. Because if that uh, Skulltula spawns in and I can't get at it, then... I'm kind of screwed. This one is a big pain in the ass to get to, I'm pretty sure. 
I think it's actually like on the left side of the map there and I need the hook shot to get to it. Which is why we went and we did uh, the Twilight Palace area first instead of this one. Oh Jesus, here. I really enforce the capture the East Boulder Keep. They're thinning out though. I could run up the east side there and capture that room. I might have to. Capture West Boulder Keep next. I can do that. This one here's not the right one, is it? This is... Oh, this is West Boulder Keep. Okay. Lognega said, I have it. The Dome Keeper? Also learned how to play multiplayer on Elden Ring without disconnecting. Oh, nice! So, getting a few runes for this new character. Gonna use a gigantic blade this time. Nice! Didn't think about a lot more Pokemon than almost anyone can remember. Yeah, there's like a thousand of them now, isn't there? Or more? It blows my mind, like, Pokemon Go has been out for like, what, six years or something like that? And like, I'm back into it playing, and they're still adding dudes, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, how... <laughs> How long is it going to take before the whole dex is is in go? You got to wonder like if they'll they just like won't be able to catch up with the new games coming out all the time and the rate they're releasing dudes. Cuz they tend to only release guys like every I feel like every couple of months. Here we go. Hey! Fantastic. This is one of the ones that's like a real pain in the ass to find. Somebody help down there. Okay. That's where I should have been heading next anyways. Defeat Darunia? I can do that. I can totally do that. Oh, have we not seen his intro yet? Shit. I gotta remember that we're not. I gotta remember that I'm do <laughs> I'm on camera and you guys haven't seen the the intro sequences yet. Keep my hand away from that skip button. On the upside, Impa's got some levels into her now, so she's kind of just like shredding through them at this rate. Oh, but like, he might be the end of this though. I might have to actually go and conquer the other places first, because I don't have the, uh, I don't have the heart pieces and shit yet. Log Naga said, I'm going to bet they're going to make a new game with new Pokemon, and they've got to make more. I was a bit confused about why you're fighting Gorons, who's usually nice to Link. Yeah, I... I'm not quite sure... I think it's because we're... We're being led through Death Mountain, and we're not... From here. Yeah, like, I think, uh... I think Impa and, and Sheik 
don't usually come through here. I would imagine is the uh, the reasoning behind that. Allied base is at risk of falling. God damn it. Banis is here. Welcome, buddy. Welcome. How are you? Hope you're doing good. Hope all is well. Manus says, what's up, Bone? How was the weekend? Hope you had a good one. It was alright. It was pretty good. I turned 29 on Sunday. That was pretty cool. Had a, had a big hangout with with Hyde. It was his birthday as well. Um, it, was, it was a good weekend. Rained and the power went out on Sunday, but, eh, you know. It was alright. East Keep is about to fall. God damn it. Let's blast him with his big chop. Chop chop it. That's sweet. Sorry about the powers. Oh, it's okay, man. It happens. It's usually not so bad. Um. I can usually, like, pull stuff up, stuff up on my phone or whatever, as long as it's charged and that kind of thing. Yeah! Okay, is he gonna fall back now, or...? Nobody can control nature, and nature is really scary, honestly. You're not wrong about that, Logneko. Nature is a cantankerous bitch with a drinking problem. Although, <clears throat> I will say, like, after dealing with it here long enough, you start to be able to, like, recognize and, and be able to, like, almost predict certain weather patterns. Like, going outside and looking at, like, how dark the sky is and the wind and everything, you can determine, like, like if, if it's gonna be, like, thundering and lightning and shit. You feel the humidity and... Basically, what I'm saying is you don't need to go to school to be a meteorologist. <laughs> You just go outside a lot. Learned that from one of the earlier Pokemon episodes. I think it was the Orange League, where they went island to island. Pokemon taking refuge in caves with humans and such. I... See, like, I fell off of watching Pokemon, like, I think right around when that started. Um... Or, like, I didn't have cable at the time or something like that. And whenever I, like, got back into it, like, they were past that point. So, like... I I never... I I was aware that the Orange Islands were a thing, but I never got to see them. And then, when I ended up playing Fire Red and Leaf Green, they had, like, the Sevi Islands. And I was like, oh, is that what everybody's talking about, and no, it was something completely different. Which is still pretty cool. Defeat Daruni and defend the allied base immediately. I'm doing that. I'm doing it right now. Capture West Boulder Sh Peak and H. I... Am I supposed to capture the peak, or defend the base, or, like, wh what is the objective? There's so many. Oh no, oh no, chop him, chop him up. Also, help the dude. Why won't you, there you go. He's like, help me, and then he fucking just wanders away. Don't blame you, it's, a, it's boring for a long time. Oh, the, uh, the Orange Island stuff? 
birds can migrate to warmer places, they can travel in time before storms hit where they need to travel so birds can see weather change before humans who have so much tech to predict what is coming. Yeah, I guess birds are a little creepy if you, if you consider their, uh, their, their, if you consider a bird's meteorological abilities. Although they're basically built for that. They're built to just, like, be where it's most comfortable and lay their eggs in, in one of, like, two spots. Man, am I a bird? <laughs> That's That sounds a lot like me. <laughs> built to be just like wherever it's comfy it's weird how they know a storm is gonna hit us it's not like they watch the news I mean most animals are aware of that kind of stuff right and like it's it's because of um, it's, it's because they live outdoors, right? Like, they they live out in the elements and have to deal with that sort of shit firsthand. It's not like they can just, like, come inside and turn the heat up or whatever. If a storm's coming, those critters gotta find a way to get out of it or, like, hunker down and stay warm and safe and... It's very similar to like, um, uh, like, like humans like waking up to like very subtle like noises, and um, like if if you're the kind of person that like wakes up like when your house creaks in the night and that kind of stuff, um, that's one of those like genetic memory type things where like. There's a good number of people that used to live, like, in caves and, like, on cliff sides and things like that. And, like, if you felt or heard an earthquake coming, that meant that your home was going to crumble and, and you would possibly be caught inside of it. Or, or, or you'd be falling into an abyss while you slept, right? Um... So it's one of those, like, evolutionary things where, like, we learn to detect that sort of thing so that we can get up and move. Man, it says, I live in California. Earthquakes are crazy. We've had a couple here, uh, but... Like, pe people have described them to me as like, oh my god, things were rattling off the shelves and, and things were shaking all over and a picture broke. And and I'm like, really? Because I live down the street from you and nothing happened at my house. Uh, maybe the earthquake just missed me. Maybe I was too high to notice. Maybe, maybe the earthquake was really kind and it was gentle on my house enough not to knock all my stuff over and break things. Um, but it sounds kind of like you just broke a bunch of shit and blamed it on a on a natural phenomenon. This is the impression that I usually get. It's really funny when you're like, did you just break a bunch of your shit and then blame it on the earthquake? And they're like, eh, no. N no, it's, it's stupid. Okay, alright. All Goron control keeps her now open. Did I not open this chest? Oh, that makes me a dumb idiot. Things look crazy when you go outside. The whole world looks really trippy. Sealed weapon. Is that a new one? And for whomst? Uh, 
Yeah, I wouldn't mind, like... I know they have those, um... I... <laughs> I'm not gonna say I wouldn't mind experiencing a like a real earthquake just to see what it's like because that's gonna like destroy shit and be damaging to people's properties and things like that and I'm not gonna wish that on people um, but I know that they have those um, like earthquake simulating platforms that they like build test structures on and shit um, and y you can like program an earthquake into it like like the intensity and that kind of shit um, I wouldn't mind standing on something like that to see, like, what the the vibrations and the tremors and shit are like at the various levels. Oh, your phone broke? No! Oh, is it fixable, Madness? He, he, like... <laughs> is that something that's easily fixable? Is it a software thing, or did you, like, fuck the screen up, or what happened? Hyde's here! Welcome, buddy. Welcome. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Hope all is good. While it's on my brain, Hyde, next time you are here, uh, I could use your assistance figuring out which specific processor goes into my computer. Because I was trying to look at that today, and I found out that there's, like, multiple generations of the same model or some shit. Like, the board will take some of them, but not all of them. I don't know. Some of them require updates. I don't know. But... <laughs> Whereas I thought I was just getting a processor, now I'm having to narrow it down from like, I, I don't know, like four. And hey, anybody out there who is familiar with computer stuff, um, I, please uh, confirm or correct me in my assumption that the term thermal paste, that refers to um, the paste-like texture and consistency of the product, right? It is not referring to the fact that it is a uh, an adhesive. Because I started thinking about like having to rep uh, replace my, my processor and the thermal paste and I'm like oh is it like glued down and I have to like do I, do I have to like put a like a a thing on it to get it off or something do I gotta like swab it with alcohol from the sides or some shit I imagine it's just like L like a food paste or a, or, or a medicinal paste or something, right? Like, describing the physical aspects of it, not the... Not that it's an adhesive. It's the cum on the CPU. Listen, man, I don't know what you're doing to your computer, but that's probably not good for it. I would, I would try to shoot the load, like, away from the computer, if possible. You need to scrape it off gently? Okay. I will be gentle with, with my, my CPU. You need a new load if you change it also. It helps your PC. Oh. Oh, so like periodically, like, like peeling it off and then uh, and like reapplying the thermal paste is a is a good idea. That's something I've not heard before. Makes sense though, I guess. Ooh, ooh, 
the noise is coming out of these dudes. You should actually do it, but most people don't because it requires taking it off. Okay. Well, I usually go in, like, about every six months, and, um... And, like, I'll take the panels off and I'll spray it down with the, uh, with the condensed air or whatever. Just clean it out. Uh, I could, I could add on, um, re-thermal pasting as, like, a, like, a once-yearly or, like, a bi-yearly thing. Just to help prolong the life of it. Compressed air is nice to dust it. It's nice to get the the dust out, but like it they it smells kind of weird. I have to like seriously ventilate the room when I use it because like they've put a uh, they've put like a taste like a bitterant in it uh, to deter people from fucking doing whippets and shit. Which, like, I know there's some sick fuck out there who's like, Haha, joke's on you, fucker. I like the flavor. Because I know, like, um... Like, when I was a kid, uh... I used to, um... Uh, I used to, like, bite my nail. I still bite my nails. Um, I don't like... I don't like the feeling of the nail clippers. Um, it's not a stress thing, it's a, it's a... That's how I... Manicure, whatever. Um, but yeah, like, she she was trying to get me to stop really early on, so she put, like, paprika or something on my fingers. Um, thinking that, like, I'll put my hands in my mouth, I'll taste the paprika or the, the cayenne pepper or whatever the fuck it was, and it'll burn and I'll not want to do that anymore um I ended up enjoying the flavor and just like sucking it off my fingers I think that's something like somebody told her to do was like oh you can you can put spice on your kids hands and they'll keep it out of their mouth That seems like a good idea, right? Just just shovel raw spice into your child's mouth. Or teach them to do it themselves. It's a great plan. Uh, people get high on air? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but like... Um, yeah, the big inhales on the compressed air... I'm not sure what exactly is the chemistry there. It's not in my, um... It's not in my book of legally stoned... shit. Which is kind of funny. I, uh, I, I have a... Actually, I don't know if I still have it or any more. I might have gotten rid of it. Um... But I had this book called Legally Stoned um, that I, I I swear I mainly just I just it was it was interesting to read. I don't think I ever actually tried anything in it, um, but it was it was an interesting read because um, it went over things like um, like mugwort, right? And how I think that is used. Um, I think they use that in absinthe um, as like hallucinogenic properties or something. But uh, yeah, it was like a like a whole chapter on uh, on mugwort and like how it's used, uh, what its effects are, um, how you can use it safely and that kind of thing, right? Um, and just like a bunch of uh, it, it was just like each chapter was on like a like a legally procurable thing that you would find like. Uh, in a spice cupboard, or like over-the-counter 
like at the at the drugstore or whatever, right? Um, like cough syrup or whatever. Um, and it's meant to like properly educate you so you're not just like grabbing a bottle of cough syrup and chugging it, right? It's like teaching you how to like math it out and whatnot. Um, but in all of that, uh, in that whole book, I don't think I ever saw Whippets. Because, like, really, I mean, like, that's, like, you can just go to the store and buy that, right? You can go get that at the dollar store, for fuck's sake. Long neck, I'm amazed you like it, never tasted it. You know, my set little sister did it to stop. I can't remember which spice it was specifically that she put on me, but, like, yeah, I, I like spicy food, so... Not really a surprise there. You also bite your nails because you dislike cutting them manually. Yeah, the feeling of the, the metal under my fingernails is really uncomfortable. I, I had to get used to the feeling of it, like, on my toenails. And even to a degree, it's still kind of uncomfortable and I don't like it. But, like, I don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> For germing my toenails. It's never been something that I've enjoyed. And I said, some dude's selling Dragon Ball games for the PS3 for a lot. I'd rather buy them off of eBay, save me some money. Yeah, get them wherever you can, cheapest. You be careful with eBay, though. Make sure you're actually getting something off of off of eBay. Hope you don't have an Ingra big toenail. I got one and it's so irritating to cut it. Uh, I think I've actually got two. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, I think um. I think both of my big toes are, are ingrown uh, on, like, the inside. Because, like, I always cut them on, like, a curve, and then they grew weird, so, yeah. That's fun to deal with. I keep forgetting... Um, uh, my mom was reading, trying to figure out, uh, like, how to deal with it, and apparently, uh, one thing you do is, um, you, like, soak the toe in warm water several times a day, just, like, it keeps the, the nail soft, and, uh, helps it, like, to grow up instead of in. Toot is here! Tootin' something that I can't pronounce. <laughs> I'm sorry, Toot, I... I apologize for still not being able to not butcher your name. Welcome. Welcome, Toot. How are you? I hope all is well. I hope you're doing good. I oh, hope life has been good to you since last we saw you. Oh, thank you for the posture check. I needed that. Oh, Big Oran's knife. A sword created... By the finest Goron smithy who ever lived, a slice is deep but requires immense strength to wield. It's fucking cool. So it's another, like, like a skin on, uh, on a weapon. But really cool that she, uh, she's wielding, like, the giant's knife and, and bigger on sword and all that. Uh, oh yes, and I managed to unlock the Wind Waker as a, a weapon for Lady Zelda. As opposed to Bro Zelda, you know? Uh, Toot says, I'm good, how about you? I'm, I'm very good, thank you. Doing quite well. I just turned 29 on the weekend, so that was alright. Alright. Uh... Lake Hylia is next. Oh god, yeah, Lognaco brings up a good point. Is that... 
what? <laughs> no, not meaning to pry to, but what is it like typing that in, like, to log into Twitch and stuff? Because, like, oh man, I have a hard time remembering my passwords to things sometimes. I couldn't imagine if I couldn't, like... <laughs> Well, actually, yeah, no, there's been, a, there's been a number of times where I've tried to log into things and I can't even remember my username anymore, so those are gone. <laughs> Sister's 29, it's hard to deal with, I can imagine. It's alright. I know a lot of people freak out and they're like, oh my god, I'm, I'm approaching 30, my life is ending. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't know, man. Like, embrace it. Age gracefully. Like, age ain't necessarily gonna, like, kick your ass unless you let it, you know? People are like, you get old and, and your joints stop working and, like... And all that. And, like, I don't know, man. Just try to stay fit. I noticed my body starting to... I, I guess, you know... Slow down and get a little bit more fragile in, like, my mid-20s. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Just, like, regular exercise seems to, uh... Seems to keep me, you know... In decent enough shape, it, it keeps it keeps the damage at bay, I guess. Oh, that's clever. Okay. Tooth says that my the name's easier to remember because it means. No names available in Italian. That's... That's really clever. I like that. Yeah, probably probably a lot easier if you speak the language that the word is written in. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Meow Stick Tamer is here. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Hope all is good with you. Meow Stick Tamer says, Bro, why didn't they release Legend Stuff as DLC on the Wii U? Uh, Lognaga said they closed the Wii U shop, didn't they? I don't know if they closed the Wii U shop. I don't think they necessarily closed it. I think at that point, though, they were, um, they were possibly working on the Switch. And, um, if I recall, the Switch didn't have a whole lot of, like, release titles, did it? There was, um... There, there was like your Switch Sports or, or whatever, right? And, and stuff like that. Oh, excuse me. Switch Meavers or whatever the fuck they've got. They, they ended up doing uh, like a whole bunch of like Wii U ports and remakes and stuff, I think. Yeah, I would imagine internally it was like, if if the Wii U shop hadn't closed down, uh, they were aware that its life cycle was coming to an end, or that the new one was going to begin it was going to be beginning, and it wouldn't uh, wouldn't have been worth it. They closed the 3DS shop. Yeah, they did that recently, didn't they? Like, in the last, like, couple of years. Wait, Rescue Ruto. Why am I... Why am I sitting here bashing minions? I should be bashing this gatekeeper. It seems like they just keep coming back. I don't know that I'm actually thinning out any numbers. I think, here we go. Let's fight some lizards. 
And by fight, I mean let's play them some music. Oh no, they don't like it. Is the other lizard still- yeah, okay, he's still up. So you say, don't tell me I launch them into the water and then I don't get the materials from them. Because I think I need their stuff. Haha! -ha. Yeah, okay. I gotta remember not to like full combo these guys. Just like one hit and then move on. Rudo was advancing to the lakeside gate. Yeah. The big guys need a couple of hits, but everybody else will go down in one. Zelda's harsh rhetoric has cost highly enforces. What did that say? Morale? That is not our Zelda. It's some evil bitch Zelda. Some stank ass queer. Input is covering Darunia. Okay, well then I don't need to rescue him, do I? <laughs> Why? Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. Impa's covering Darunia, but you have to cover Impa. Fucking dumbass bullshit game. Come on now. All right, go on forces. Leave that one skelly boy and he's gonna be fucked. You dino guys. Oh no, you're lizards. You need to you need to go away. Did they all no? Go, go, go away. Big dumb lizard. Get out of here. Should I go rescue Darunia or no? Let's let's deal with this fucking lizard and then. Oh, I guess I should direct Impa, shouldn't I? She's already covering Darunia, but we'll make sure that she is, and I will make sure Sheik is coming in and doing her job. Which apparently is to appropriate Impus culture and <laughs> just make a huge mockery of it. Wouldn't it be just like absolutely wild to like if it came out that like Sheik's clothing is actually like like traditional ceremonial holy person garb or something like that? Like, it's, like, Sheik's outfit is basically, like, um, like a Sheik up priest garb or something. So, like, she's not just, like, impersonating, like, one of Impa's people, but, like, somebody of import, importance and, like, somebody who, uh, like, should have a lot more, like, respect shown. Gold Skulltula is on the map somewhere. That was lucky. <laughs> we just happened to be right there. That was real lucky. Thank Christ it wasn't down in the water temple. That could have been real bad. It said, PS Vita is definitely dead. I don't know about the 3DS. I'm pretty sure it went off. I just don't know how long ago they killed the store. Lognaga said, so this harp that Sheik got, is it the one from Skyward Sword? No, it's the one that he plays in, um, in Ock of Time. But I think you can get the one. It Actually, it might be. I'm not sure. I think it's the one from Ock of Time. And I think the one that you get in, um... In Skyward Sword is uh, like an unlockable weapon skin. 
Impa, you need to take over up here. Let me look at that. Yeah, I think that's his Ock of Time harp. I think once we get so far in, we start unlocking the different, like, weapon skins. And I'm pretty sure every weapon has, like, at least three additional skins to it. We already have, like, one of his new ones, I think. Sealed weapon. Give, like, the Typhoon Harp or whatever it is. Fleeing? Why would you flee? I'm right here. I'm, I'm literally right here. Was there a green ring of help that I ignored? Oh no! Zelda's strategy has closed the central hall. What a bitch. Oh, they trapped Rudo in there. Go and open the floodgates. Okay. I will do that. I, I can do that. I believe that is doable. Let's have Sheik go down there. It's a good start. I think I already have dudes there. Why couldn't we use the harp that way in Skyward Sword, if so? That's a good question. Why couldn't Link do sick harp attacks? Just figure since Skyward Sword is first and you have a harp, it kind of made more sense that we have it later in games passed down. It could be that that is, like, the harp. Um, like, it could be that the one that, uh, that Sheik plays in Ock of Time is the one from Skyward Sword that's been passed down in the Sheikah tribe that whole time. Because as, as we can see when we control Sheik, um, there's like a bit of a bandage on it or wherever and I don't know if that is like a detail that was like actually in Ock of Time um, if the harp was bandaged or not but that to me would indicate um, either just like a stylistic like piece of flair or it would suggest that the harp was broken at some point or, or damaged and had to be repaired which is something that one could surmise uh, would have happened over like an extended period of use, right? Or after like a long time of just existing. Then again, the games being made like out of canonical like timeline order um, really throws a damper into that whole line of thinking. It's, it's really hard to have a consistent, like, like, this, like, blank from the past is blank in the future when Game from the Future came out before Game from the Past. It's, it's really hard to have that sort of shit line up. Particularly when they're, like, as all over the place as the Zelda series is. Zelda's one of those franchises where, like, I feel like you kind of got to look at it as, like, anything is possible. You got to look at it as, like, each new installment, like, officially recanonizes things and, like, it changes the course of events and, and how certain stories turned out and whatnot. And, like, I feel like it's okay for each new subsequent game to, like, rewrite certain parts of of other stories um, and like you gotta just keep in mind that like anything is possible and they can rewrite and change stuff at any time 
which I know that kind of makes it really hard to have a consistent flow of story and events and everything and like there's people who've spent like I don't know how much time making like hours long video essays on the whole subject and like all it takes is one new video game to completely fuck the timeline and throw all their work down the shitter right? so it's understandable why people would want something a little more consistent and concrete I used to be one of those people and in a lot of regards with like other series like I still am um, but Zelda is one of those things where like I, I, I just kind of came to accept that it's gonna change it's gonna change over time and that's kind of that's kind of part of the beauty of it I feel it's like every time you learn more about a different period in its history it like recontextualizes things It's like when you play through the Nier games and like on subsequent playthroughs or like the back half of the game or whatever, right? Um, you start getting like other perspectives and you start learning like sequences of events from other people's points of view and what like certain things mean to them and how it affects them what you thought was a villain character might actually be like um might actually be like more of a uh like a, like a victim or or a uh like a secret hero character or something right they might actually just be doing their best and not actually trying to hurt anybody near games are really cool really really interesting in that regard this is why you don't want to think of Zelda timeline because it has three paths and not smart enough to remember what is what in the timeline it it does get really difficult to keep that uh, in order you just got to remember that the breaking point is um, like the split in the timeline is Ocarina of Time and um, oh god how does that split go you're right it is really confusing so there's right okay so there's the future where the hero doesn't exist in the Ocarina time, right? And and Ganondorf wins, right? That's the future you go to change in that game. Then you change that future, right? And and there's the, there's the future where the the hero comes back, and he defeats the villain, and and puts a stop to his evil reign, right? So there's timeline one and two, and then. Timeline 3 is after you beat him and you go back in time and stop him from taking over in the first place. And from there, I think there's only like really two or three important uh, games that stem off of that, uh, which are a lot easier to keep track of than, than all the other ones. Like, um, in the third one, where you go back and you stop him from taking over, um, I think that leads into Majora's Mask, and subsequently then Twilight Princess. Um, the, the timeline where he wins because Link isn't there at all, uh, is the one that leads into Wind Waker. And I can't remember what the other one is. I think the one where you beat him... I think the, the one where he wins, and then you come back and you defeat him, that leads into, like, Oracle of Seasons or some shit. I 
I can't remember where, like, Four Swords and, and all that ends up. Vati is, like, a whole other... I don't... I don't know that I've played a game with Vati in it, or... Or, or finished one, or what? I'm not familiar with Overly, like, with him as a villain and, and his story and all that. So all Impa had to do was hold down that corner, and she couldn't even do that. What is happening? Where did the reinforcements come from? Why is she up there? Command Impa. I guess she's got to take down those assholes, right? Is there more? There's more big guys. Vati is the Minish Cap villain. Gets the cap that can grant all wishes and he's basically evil. Oh. You know, like I said, I, I don't know that I've played any of his games, so I don't know all that much about him. Apparently there's a guy, uh, there's an unlockable character in this game who basically just looks like a shitty mascot character. Um, like, like a football mascot. Um, and it's, it's Link from Low Rule. It's like his alternate. He looks really weird, and I don't know, I don't know if I like him yet. I've not seen, I've not seen anything to do with him, I've not like played him or anything. Is he purple? Yeah, he's like a weird purple bunny guy. He looks kind of like the weird purple thief villain that they inserted into the Mario games. In like Mario Bros. U or something. God, it's been a long time since I played those. I'm upset that I don't know Mario well enough to determine whether or not I bought the same game like three or four different times. I, I can't tell if, like, I can't tell if, if, if the different Super Mario Bros, like, on the Wii and the Wii U, etc., were just, like, re-releases of the same game or not. Luigi Bros U was a whole new game, wasn't it? It was a whole new stack of levels and shit. I'm pretty sure it was. I remember playing through uh, the Super Mario Bros. like on the Wii and then wanting more Mario so I picked it up on the DS thinking it was a new game and not realizing that it was like a, a remake or whatever and <laughs> getting halfway through it and then going hang on big fucking waste of time and money that was Him I haven't played Link Between Worlds, did watch a lore video, learned it's a sequel to Link to the Past. Right, that it wasn't a remake? Oh, okay. Sequel to Link to the Past, huh? Oh, I'm in the wrong... I got the wrong dude in the wrong room. East room. Okay, Impa can leave now. I guess. Nope. Damn it. Ah, oh, shit. You have to not be controlling the character you're ordering when you order them. Uh, otherwise, they 
just don't do anything. Like, I'm controlling Impa now, so if I were to pause and issue Impa a command and then switch, like, unpause and switch to Sheik, uh, Impa would just stand there. She wouldn't do anything. Always gotta be conscious of who you're controlling and where you are. Open all the floodgates and rescue Ruto. Did I not do that already? Where are the other floodgates? Where do I have to go for that? Did I miss one somehow? Luigi's game was kind of neat even though I didn't play it. They did a bunch of really neat games with the Wii U. The sort of like took interesting spins on the on their more traditional formulas. Like I really enjoyed um, Yoshi's Woolly World. Uh, that got me into Umigurumi. That got me into crocheting, and um, God, I spent so much time crocheting stuffed animals because of that fucking game. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse was a really neat idea. It's a shame how shitty that game is and how insulting it is to the player. Um, really cool game though. Really neat idea being all like made out of clay and stuff. And like really cool that like uh, like in the case of like Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, really cool that like Yoshi gets uh, his own game again, right? Because like um, like when was the last time that happened? I'm trying to think, like, Yoshi's Island, but, like, what else? One of the games I really enjoyed on the Wii U that I'm really glad that they re-released on Steam uh, is Wonderful 101. If you guys haven't, like, played that game or checked it out yet, um, that's a really cool title. It's kind of similar to Okami in its, like, um, like, you use drawing as a, as a main mechanic, uh, like, as a part of, like, combat and stuff like that, um, but it's a platinum game, uh, so it's, it's very action-y, it's very, like, colorful and hit sparky all over. And the wonderful 101 themselves are, are just, like, super endearing and, and lovable. A group of, like, 101 Sentai heroes. Oh no! You're going down, me! Yeah! Yeah, play music so hard the trees grow. Yoshi's cute and all, but I myself don't want another game of Yoshi. Oh, you don't care for Yoshi that much? I wouldn't mind a Yoshi, another Yoshi game. Yoshi's Woolly World uh, uh, sort of inspired like another Kirby game in that style, didn't it? There's Kirby's Epic Yarn, and then didn't didn't they do another Kirby game where he was like made of yarn or something? Or do they do like a Mario game like that or something? I can't remember. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind seeing like a, a bit more of games like, um, like featuring um, like side characters and stuff. Like, like give, give Waluigi his own game, right? Wario has a game. Wario's got tons of games. Give Waluigi his own game. People would pay tons of money for that. Like, you know they would, right? 
Give, um... Oh, here's a good example. Give, give Tingle another game, right? Like, from Zelda? Give Tails from Sonic his own video game. I wouldn't play that, but I'm sure somebody would. You could give, like... You could give Coco Bandicoot her own game and give it, like, a, like a neat new spin on Crash. Like, it's not necessarily just, like, a, a platformer, but you could do something else with it, too. Put puzzles in it or something. Look at how fangirly Impa is. She's like, oh my god, it's the princess! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Let's close the gate, yeah! He has cool games, but I get a bit tired of his eggs and such. Oh, Yoshi? It's always been a springboard to victory for me in Super Mario World and Bros. Into the pit or lava. Fair enough. Yeah, they'd have to, like, retool his, uh... His whole style of gameplay and everything. Give him something new. It was neat what they did, like, with, um, with Mario and Odyssey, like, with the hat and everything, the hat forms. Um, I'd like to see something like that, or, like, um, like, Kirby's Planet Robobo, like, where, um, where the robot gets different forms and stuff, too. Um, you, you give him something like that. You could put Yoshi in, like, a in something I don't know you could put him in something I feel like you could put Yoshi in a cooking game put Yoshi in something like cooking mama right where like he's got to reach for ingredients with his tongue and like maybe he makes his own eggs or something I don't know I'm just spitballing here uh, change costume. Let's try, yeah, Era of the Wilds tunic. And, ooh, I haven't used the gauntlets yet. Let's try that out. Mario Odyssey is so cool. You get so much out of the gameplay by changing to enemies with other abilities. Really liked Odyssey, except the hardest level in the game. Is Odyssey the one they remixed with, uh, with, like, the Bowser DLC or whatever it is? Or no, that's, like, the new Switch Super Mario Land whatever, right? Fuck, there's so many goddamn Mario games. And, like, we're not even talking yet about, like, sports and cart and... Uh, v anything to do with Sonic, right? At the Olympics, maybe. Um, we're we're not even discussing like Paper Mario, um, or or, or Super Mario RPG, right? There, there's so fucking many, so many Mario's. God damn. My tea's gone cold. I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. It's not morning rain, but it is fogging up my window. I, I'm i starting to not be able to see it all. Something, something pictures on my wall something something not so bad not so bad dear slim i wrote you but you still ain't calling <sighs> got all 
all the moons is like 860 or something. Fuck. Yeah, I heard that the moon count was like egregious in Odyssey. The, like, it's a great game, except for when it comes to collecting the moons, then Nintendo can go fuck themselves. <laughs> was basically what I was told about that. I love how Ganondorf shows up and he's like, Give me the Triforce! And she's like, Well, no, not with that attitude. <laughs> you you go back in the hole and you learn to ask nicely for your uh, trinket of ultimate power, okay? Oh, he's, th he's three-fourths of a dick bag. What is it with, like, evil folk and, like, gems on the forehead? Like, Sia and Ganondorf both, they've got, like, gems on, on the forehead, like, uh... Like, I don't know, is that, like, a symbol of your magic or something? Is that a symbol of their magic? I don't know. That could be one of those weird Japanese things where, like, purple is a villain color. Would you like to go to the bazaar? Yeah, actually, I would. Let's go to the bazaar. Let's check out the badge. My oh, there's nothing there. I can't go up in the training dojo because Link is the strongest dude. Can't get no shit here. Oh, yeah, um, so... We got more of these, and I can't remember what did it. The mixture will lose its effect after a single battle. I can't remember what it was that caused this to expand. Either... Oh! Oh, it was finding Skulltulas, I think. I think it might have been finding the Skulltulas and getting the, the image fragments that caused the uh, the shop to expand a little bit. Gauntlets. Alright, now I gotta skip through that cutscene again. Log Negus, you know Disney's making their own Mario Kart, kinda? They have so many characters from movies they can probably make more than Mario Kart has since it has so many fucking clones of one character. Um, they already have a, a version of Mario Kart. Came out on the Nintendo 64 and it fucking sucked. I mean, this one's probably gonna have, like... It'll probably be, like, the Smash Bros. of, of racing games, right? Where, like, it's just a mishmash of, of any character that Disney has licensed to. Um, but like, I don't know. When I think of Disney, I think of Aladdin and uh, like the princesses. Maybe the beast. It's basically going to be a princess racing game. Which, like, cool. That's not my bag, but, like, I mean, I'm sure somebody out there will enjoy that. I think maybe when that game comes out, I'll go out and I'll buy a copy of Mario Kart. And we'll play some Mario Kart instead. Uh, didn't think it would be good. Kids will probably like it. Yeah, the kids will probably enjoy it. I know, like, all my cousins really enjoyed, um... Fucking look at those big mitts! <laughs> oh, those big honking mitts. And that big huge ball. It's... It's like smashing into him as he runs. This is stupid. 
Oh man, but it's really cool though. He actually fucking wields it. Oh! 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 Alright, we got some moves. Oh man, the you ain't ready to catch these fucking hands, I tell you what. Oh man. Yeah, uh fucking Mario Kart is uh is is great for the kiddos. They they really love that. Hell, it's a great game. Fucking Mario Kart's dope. There's no reason not to love it. I gu I guess there is uh, a pretty poor character selection. It is typically just Mario characters. They did really well with, um, what was it, like, 8, I think? Where they, um, they brought in, like, Link and a couple of people as, like, DLC. I think that probably, um, put it in, in their heads that, like, oh, people like this, people want, like, more characters in their game. So maybe, uh, maybe hopefully the next Mario Kart will have more dudes in it. Oh, and here comes the rain outside. Slowly this time, huh? Man, you guys should have seen it on Sunday. It was fucking nuts. Like, I killed the stream, and then I went upstairs to let mom know that I was done streaming. And, uh, I watched the rain go from, like, just lightly spitting to so hard you, like, almost couldn't see through it in a matter of, like, a minute. If I had known it, it was gonna fucking come down that hard that fast, I would have filmed it for you guys. Because it's actually really stupid how fast that shit comes down. only gadget I've never got to use much in the Zelda games Ocarina of Time and Twilight oh the the gauntlets and the uh, and the ball there yeah they don't really give you much to do with these in either game do they the gauntlets you can lift I think um, well, the gold gauntlets, you can lift, I think, like, two things with it. There's, like, two blockades that you can toss out of the way with that shit. Impa has reached a sealed statue, causing it to activate. <laughs> oh, that's how he blocks? He just carries it? Keep Impa safe, okay. How do I activate the fucking statue? I don't know how to activate it. Yeah, I don't think there's a, a whole lot of, um... I, I think, like, in, in Ganon's castle and maybe in, um... Well, definitely in the Spirit Temple, there's like a couple of big blocks that you can push with the, the Silver Gauntlets. But yeah, there, there's not a whole lot of uh, like actual use for them. It would have been really cool if um, getting them had given you like a damage upgrade. Because, like, they give you a strength increase, right? So it would stand a reason that you'd be able to, like, swing the sword harder and therefore, like, cut through your enemies quicker. God, this combo's so cool! <laughs> oh, man, that's radical. Oh, and you can just, like, shatter it if you want to cut the combo short. That's really cool. Ok, 
Go team. You discovered a sealed statue at the north. Impa has fled. That means I lost the thing. Okay, well. I guess I didn't understand which objective was important. Hylian forces have lost the battle. It, it, it says my objective there is activate the statues, and I assumed that protect Impo was a side objective because it wasn't there in the window. I guess that was wrong. I didn't even hit a checkpoint. Wow. Jesus, fuck, man, okay. Okay, how about I go down this way first? We must awaken the statues. Bibbidi bobbidi. Alright, I'm gonna activate this right here. Lana is searching for the sealed statues. I found one right here. You discovered a sealed statue at the town Enterons. What am I supposed to do there? Impa, that is the statue of servitude. Please awaken it. The statue of servitude? That sounds kind of fucked. Impa's advancing towards the statue. You know what? Let's help her do something before the enemies pop in. Can we make that happen? Can we, like, sequence break this? Keep Impa, Darunia, and Midna safe. Ah, shit. Well, you can fuck off, right? Yeah, you can. Alright, you're capable of doing that. Ghost soldiers? Why would ghost soldiers exist? They're not normal enemies! Watch out! I don't know, they go down like normal enemies. Impa has reached the statue, causing it to activate. Cool. Wait here until it fully activates? Oh, that sucks. So that's what's happening. Okay. And there was a summoner in here. Oh, okay. Well, that's why she got fucked up. God damn. Lognego said, uh, a few weeks ago I went to work on my kick scooter all the way manually to see if I could reach work with battery left. And it was raining lightly that day. But two times it became a mega downpour while I was going upwards along a hill. So it was blinded on my left eye. I was only able to see with my right slightly determined to get to work faster. Jesus. That fucking sucks. You need like a... Uh, you need like a raincoat or something that like... It's just like a big bubble that covers you and your scooter. Just get like a clear garbage bag and drape it over you. Okay, I'm gonna beat these clowns. And then everybody should be able to advance, right? There's nothing in here. They're in the next ones, that's right, okay. It's said to protect Impa, Darunia, and Ruto, right? Or, no, Impa, Darunia, and Midna. So, Lana is not a priority protect. At least not yet. I'm gonna have to go up through that mid area to activate... The other two. Shit, okay. 
Well, Minna and Darunia are just like waiting outside those keeps. So if I can bust in and open them. No. Let's get that fucking statue opened. Ghost forces reappearing throughout the battlefield. You guys can get fucked. You can get fucked, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you're totally capable of that. Boom! Down, fucko. Hey, how come he doesn't have any materials for me? I need their uniforms. Although, I don't think the ghost soldiers actually drop those, do they? I think I gotta fight, like, regular soldiers for that. Maybe we'll be able to do that in a couple of levels. Who knows? I don't. I can't even remember, like, where this is in the sequence. I remember up until, like, that split. Where we get the choice to do, like, three different levels. And that's it. Oh, you sons of bitches. Okay, well, you guys can all get fucked. Hey, how does the the super work? Oh! I really, really like the wind-up, and then the wind swirling, and then the slam. That's a really cool sequence. Like, like, the wind started, like, churning and getting blown out of the way before he even swung. That's so cool. It's, it's like, you know that trope in anime where, like, uh, like, the swordsman, he, he, like, whips out his sword and puts it back really quickly? And then, like, there's a pause, and then the bad guys fall down, or the thing gets cut in half. Um, it's like that, but in reverse. Like, the, the guy puts his hand on the sword, and there's a pause, and everybody falls down, and then he does the draw. Some sort of, like, pre-attack bullshit. Which would make for a really dope uh, anime fight. Or maybe not a fight, but like like an intro to a character or something. Okay, there ought to be another summoner in here, right? Yep. Defeat summoner and magic stash troop. Did I not kill the stash troop already? I thought I did. Maybe there's another one. Rooney is in danger. Why is he over there and not near the goddamn statue? Why is he fighting these guys? This is stupid. Oh, look at that. That whirlwind is so boss. You notice Black Clover has some really good action music? It really does. Something about the art and the, like, I think it's like that everybody wears, like, the same uniforms and shit. Like, just, I don't know, makes it kind of, like, dull to look at. Um, but it's got a really good soundtrack. Definitely keeps it, like, keeps things active, I guess. Confirm that there's only three dragons in Breath of the Wild, and one of them is corrupted by Ganon on a mountaintop? Oh. Oh, interesting. Daruni has reached the sealed statue. Were they at the... Oh, Midna and Darunia went to the opposite sides. Fucking dumbasses. 
There's nobody in those keeps, so if they can just get there, then they'll be fine. But Minna has to actually go towards hers. Not sure where they get the names for Black Clover. I don't know if it's based off a country. There's so many unique names. Yeah, not usually... Uh... They're not the kind of names that you usually hear in anime. When I was a kid and I started watching Naruto, um, I, I, I used to read like, uh, like anime, ma um, anime insider and inquest gamer magazines. Um, where the fuck is that spoder? And uh, they they'd talk about like other Sasuke's in their articles, and and I, not reading the whole thing, I'm I'm like, who 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 are they talking about? What is, who's this other Sasuke? Who's uh who's this other? Who are these other characters from shows I don't watch with names of characters that I'm familiar with? You don't expect there to be, like, Japanese equivalents of, like, Stan, or John, or whatever, right? I should probably go help Midna. There we go. Now, Summoner, again, Jesus, how many of them are there? And they're not dropping materials, so, like... Oh my god, more ghost forces have appeared. What is the deal? Inside the temple, that's unusual. Somebody must be manipulating them. Can I get inside the temple? Defeat the commander of the ghost soldiers? Where are they? They don't want to let me in. Where is this motherfucker? Get him, get him. Do I just have to run around until I find him? Oh my god. There's, oh god, there's so many of them. More summon, there's, ah. Uh. Why are there so many fucking summoners? I don't understand this. Fucking Jesus Christ. Okay. If they... If they're gonna keep summoning inside and filtering out through the castle, through the front there, then I should be able to at least retake everything. See, I haven't even, like, lost any of my areas. They just... They just keep filling them with dudes. Impa's in trouble. Gotta go help Impa. Can't let ourselves be defeated. Fucking Jesus, man. Lana's in danger now, too. Jesus Christ, people. Okay, Impa didn't actually need help. She's just whining for it. Fuck, man. Feel an evil presence in your room. What is all this, like, defeat the enemy commander and, like, he's not even on the field? 
I feel it too. Oh, it's creepy. What do you find the person controlling the ghost forces? I'm literally trying to. They keep putting them on the field though. I have no idea if like summoners are summoning other summoners or if they're being dropped in like as part of the level or whatever. For fuck's sakes! Oh god, it says that there's still a strong one back in there. Who else is in this? I just fuck. Oh my god, did I not finish that one? The enemy still lives. Finish this. I'm trying so hard right now, you don't even know. Sounds like I have an imp- Oh! There's a fake Lana on the field. Christ on a fucking cross. Don't fucking tell me there's another summoner back in here again. No, it's just a crowd of dildos. Jesus Christ. Yeah, summon them inside the castle all you want, as long as they don't come out. Let's go this way. I need to, like, clean up and press forward. There's so many of them. And even with Link's, uh, strength right and his big wide attacks and everything like it still takes him a minute to sweep through everybody like like i said i know this sounds dumb but i wish asta would drop becoming the wizard king because he doesn't have magic i hope he just lives a carefree and accepts that you know does it I, the Wizard King thing just seems like, it just seems really dumb to me. It, it really just seems like they're just trying to rip off One Piece. And it, like, I know that like, there's the, its own story, right? Like the Wizard King, like, he fought that big monster or whatever, right? Um... But, like, y if you start a series with, like, and this kid wants to be the king of the wizards, or the king of blank, right? Like, it just screams, okay, you're trying to rip off One Piece. Like, king of the pirates is, like, it's it's been done. Right? We have a character who screams about wanting to do that already, and we, we kind of don't need a whole other series devoted to that. The whole, like, rivalry between uh, Asta and Yuno, like... I think it's interesting that, like, Yuno is so adept and talented, and, and like, Asta is, like deficient in that regard right like like is anti-magic even magic does does that count or whatever right um i think it's a really nice idea of like he he's working to become the wizard king without magic right and i, I think that's kind of neat but like i honestly couldn't care which one of them ends up with it. It's not a... Like, I am eager to see Luffy become King of the Pirates. I, like, I feel like I will wear a suit and tie to watch that episode. But, like, I couldn't give half a shit who ends up becoming the Wizard King. Who should it be? Who deserves it? Who wants it the most 
don't care. It's not a title that fucking means anything to me. I feel like it's very obvious that, like, they seem to want you to feel like like it's gonna be you know cuz oh he's so talented and and he's uh, he's so he's so smart and he's got the best magic and he, and he's handsome and all this right and and it's like like they want you to feel like he deserves it or or like he's the most fit or some shit but like anime being what it is you know that it's going to turn around and and, uh, and Asta will be the guy wearing the crown. You know what? I'll bet. I'll bet it'll be something stupid. Like, um, like, you know, is crowned king. And then he has to, like, sacrifice himself or, or he dies or whatever. And he's like, I want you to be king now. And Asta ends up with the win by default. Okay, here's the fake Lana. Running around waiting for a fucking door to open and you're just standing here by the fountain. That's great. That's my bad for... Dealing with the enemy forces and not dealing with her. Look at that, they're just crowding the fucking outside of the castle there. They've already taken over that outpost, like, immediately. Gotta love how Zelda and her forces are standing right here, staring at her, and just, like, not gonna do anything about it. Just leave her there to hang out. The ghost forces are free. Great, will they fuck off now? Wait for it. Boom! There we go. Three sealed statues have awoken. It's about fucking time. Logneka said, You know, it's the most boring character to me, to be honest. Sorry, not sorry. He's fucking lucky all the time, gets all the good power ups, and he doesn't work for it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, well, that's the thing, is, like, we don't know that he doesn't work for it. I mean, like, as far as I know, like, I I think in the beginning, like, we might get a couple of scenes with him, like, hitting the books while Asta's out, like, doing his workouts and shit. Um, so, like, I don't know if it's fair to say he doesn't work for it. Because, um, like, just because we... Just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. Um, the whole iceberg thing, right? Um, but it definitely feels like he's not working nearly as hard as Asta. I mean, like, at, at the very least, like, you can... In those scenes where Asta's like, he's on the floor and he's doing push-ups in that cave and he's like, I'm working as hard as I can. You know's just standing there talking to him. And it's like while he's while he's working and training and and all that, you're you're sitting there like talking shit and you know, being social and all that, like you're not training right now. You're not working hard. Maybe you were before you came out here, but you stopped to come out here. And Asta seems to be able, he seems to be plenty capable of working out and having a conversation at the exact same time. So, I don't know. I'm not going to say Yuno doesn't try, but he could definitely try harder. He got the wind spirit without any problems. 
always nags Asta to keep trying to get where he is. Yeah, it's really easy to say get on my level to somebody like who you know isn't really capable of, of doing that. Like, Yuno is basically walking up to people in wheelchairs and being like, why can't you walk as good as I can? Maybe you should just try harder and then you could run a fucking marathon. <laughs> That's the energy that Yuno has when he, you know, he's fucking giving Asta shit. Hey kid who's magically deficient, why, why don't you do magic better? Guy who's like trademark is that he can't do magic. What? Why aren't you trying harder to do it? You know, a fucking ass hat. <laughs> just, just straight up. He has always had that sort of like. Um, like, I'm better than you attitude about him, hasn't he? Not to like a, like an overly obnoxious or arrogant degree or anything, but like, it's definitely there. And like, I could understand it like halfway through the series, if like, if it, uh, if it got more intense as things went on, but it seems to like chill out as, as things go on. It's like as he becomes a better mage, he stops getting less shitty about it. And maybe, maybe that's why, I guess, I don't know. Because I'm thinking, I'm, I'm like, like at the beginning, like before you even have your fucking magic books, right? It's like, like, the both of you, like, were orphaned at the same time, and you have no, um, metric for each other's abilities and, and capacity and all that, right? So, like, the attitude is just completely unwarranted. And, like, not that it, like, justifies it or excuses it, but, like... As the series goes on and he becomes a better mage, I could definitely understand, you know, like, looking down on him more. Because, like, he has the power to do more, I guess. But, like... Yeah, it, it's, it sort of goes the opposite way. He sort of, like, chills out on it a little bit. He starts showing a little bit more respect. There is definitely a moment, I think, at some point where... Um, I think he shows up and, and like he's friendly to Asta and it's like oh you you're not a complete ass monger anymore you you're, you're not like just a gross person anymore you can you can be civil you must have a fucking treasure chest for me yes yes not the kind that I was hoping for, but whatever. Alright, acquire the Master Sword. I'm trying. There's a reason Yami is one of the strongest people, mostly being he is also ripped and he knows more than to use magic. A lot of the mages only use spells. Yeah, they unfortunately didn't learn from... I mean, like, they kind of did. I was going to say, they didn't learn from Fairy Tale in that, like, mages don't necessarily have to be soft, squishy casters. That's a trope they address, like, really early in that series and do away with entirely. I much prefer, like, the Fairy Tale style of, like, like physically active mages. I, like, we wield fire and ice magic, but it's to, like, back up punches and shit like that. They'll flee- they'll freeze you solid in a block of ice, but then they'll thaw you out and kick the ever-loving shit out of you. Well, 
Yeah, like if if Yami doesn't have his uh, his magic to work with, like he's he's ripped to the fucking nines. He's got his fucking sword as a backup. I appreciate that Yami actually uses his sword, and it's not a goddamn belt hanger like rogues. There was a meme I saw forever ago of, like, the most useless things in fiction, and one of them was, um, Rogue's Katana, and I was like, man, that's, that reference is for, like, four people, but, like, <laughs> but goddamn is that on point. That would have been really cool to see, uh fucking dragon slayer magic used on like a, a sword or something which I guess they kind of do in the uh, in the final arc there the whole the whole thing against Irene but like I don't know it's not really the same effect For some reason, I want to say it doesn't count because Wendy's magic is designed to work that way. <laughs> I guess, in, like, in Rogue's case, like, it's cool because, like, you, you expect it to function like, like, stings, I guess, but, like, also hoping that it has, like, that enchant capacity or, or whatever you want to call it. It was really cool that Yami taught, uh, Yami brought up the concept of key in, uh, in Black Clover. Yeah, I was, I was surprised at that, that they, uh, they chose to integrate that. I guess with them leaning into Yami being, like, Japanese, I guess, um... They, they chose to, like, incorporate that. Um, not something you would expect in, uh, in a series about, like, magic, right? You wouldn't expect, like, key to, to play a part. Cover Zelda's retreat. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's kind of, it reminds me of, like, um... <clears throat> In the, in the Wano arc, when Luffy starts learning about, uh, like, Wano's version of hockey, the, the Rio or whatever, the big flowery pulse, which doesn't it end up being, like, fucking useless? When they introduced that, I thought, oh man, that's gonna be it, right? That's that's the big power-up that lets Luffy win the big... Nope. <laughs> nope, it's, it's just something else that he can pull out. It's another big gun for Luffy to pull out against, like, regular dudes. Which is kind of upsetting. Somebody pointed out that, like... Um, like, Luffy busts out a lot of his, like, big, heavy, like, strong moves just to, just to fight with, like, regular-ass dudes. And it kind of shows just how much, like, he has to struggle with things. And it makes me think about how, like, with Wano ending, there can't be too many, um... There can't be too many, uh, like, I guess, chapters left where he's like, Luffy himself is gonna be fighting groups of, like, shitty low-tier enemies. There's, there's totally gonna be, like, a big war against the Marines or whatever, and yeah, he's gonna get his hands dirty there. But, like... I don't know, I feel like most of Luffy's fights are gonna be against, like, stronger enemies who either overpower him for the moment or are somebody that he has to spend 20 episodes fighting 
before he can figure out a new power. Rio is cool pushing hockey outside of the body. Yeah, it's very similar to the um, like the ripple or uh, the hamon from JoJo, which I always really enjoyed a lot more than the uh, than stands. But Eric, he chose to go with the latter. And then somebody was uh, talking about, like, uh, was it the spin? The rotation or whatever from part 7, I think? And how it's, like, way better than the ripple ever used to be. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool, but, like, the ripple, though. <laughs> Sunlight yellow overdrive. I used to have that soundbite as my ringtone. And that got a lot of confused looks. <laughs> Hearing the overdrive noise go off in, in public gets a, a number of heads turning. Is there even a point fighting back there? Probably not. Zelda safely reached the inside of the temple. Great. Wizro has reappeared in the West Square of the Ruins. Go fight Wizro! Jesus Christ. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and Jesus Christ. This mission is taking way longer than I thought it would. Don't like this one. Not looking forward to doing it on hard mode. That's gonna suck. I mean, by then, I'll probably be, like, Link will be leveled up to the point where the damage will be the same as it is now, where I'm taking out little dudes with one hit, and it's, like, a couple of, it's, like, one or two combos to take down a big dude like this. The, <clears throat> you can start on normal and it's totally fine. Um, <clears throat> starting on easy is not that much of a difference, I don't think. Um, going back to easy after normal, like you, you have the extra levels and everything, so you walk through it quite a bit. Um, trying out hard though, like either right from the beginning or like midway through or something, just that's a whole other step up. I usually go, like, all the way to the end on both fucking normal and easy just to get the maximum amount of grinding I can before trying out hard. That being said, the extended campaign in this version, and I guess in Legends, um, makes it rather enjoyable, at least in, like, the back end. Okay. Alright, let's dump the fairy magic right away. Okay. This area is basically mine now. Is that a full? No, it's a partial. Oh, damn. He got me with the with the big hand. I appreciate them incorporating that into his attack. 
in his attack chain. Like, making just, like, random dungeon hazards be a, uh, like, an attack move for an enemy. I don't know what what the laser or the flame orbs or anything is supposed to be. Maybe they're supposed to be like the, the little flaming skull dudes that take away your sword abilities. I don't know. I'm not sure why his weapon is a ring either. Master Sword is amazing. As long as we have this, we can't lose, I guess. Okay, I think... Yeah, my dinner's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna tab over. I'm gonna go get that. I and mean, I'll be back in just a second. Don't go nowhere.
Okay. I am back. And I have food that I am defeating. Deaf eating this food here. A uh, glittering rapier. Ooh. Pretty. All right. We got a whole bunch of bullshit for doing that. Hi, puppy. Did you eat your dinner already? Okay, Temple of Souls. A War of Spirit. Should I go and do Linkle's thing? Maybe. But also, maybe not. May maybe? 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 Maybe we do it. Maybe we don't. Maybe we do. Maybe... Maybe we don't. Maybe we hold off on Linkle's adventure and we do her shit all at once. Let's do this. Master Sword. Holy shit, that takes some enemies defeating. Behind them, the Hyrulean army's morale had improved remarkably. Even Link began to feel that he was invincible while the Master Sword was in his hands. Soon he was allowing overconfidence to cloud his judgment, rushing headlong into hordes of enemies. Sia had been waiting for Link to overextend himself, giving her a chance to strike. And as the two sides battled, unknown eyes watched from the shadows. Thank God there's subtitles there. Those fries are so crunchy, I couldn't hear a goddamn thing. <laughs> You're welcome for muting the mic, by the way. I got you, fam. Oh, Sia has, like, pictures and statues of Link all over her house. Find a shiny new sword. Yes, Link loves his shiny new swords. Particularly this version of Link. Breath of the Wild Link is just absolutely feral and loves shiny things. <clears throat> oh, you little fuckers, get over here. Where do you think you're going? You little shit weasels. Okay, he's gonna get myrtleated. That one dude, he'll get wrecked. So is Ganondorf Santa in this universe? I don't know how to answer that. Is is he large and, and bearded and um uh, I, I don't know. That's, that's the only similarities I'm, I'm drawing there. Get... F oh, damn it. 
No, you need to get fucked. There we go. Kind of, yeah. He watches you from the shadows, apparently. If that's all it takes is being creepy from the shadows and being large and having a beard, then I would say that there's a lot of people in this world who are Santa. A lot of people who play slash develop video games in particular. No shade, just making an observation. <laughs> Who was that? The Triforce is drawing near? Is that him? Is he all up in there? Am I gonna have to slap a Ganon bitch? A Ganon type bitch. I have access to Darunia? What? Since when? Whenst... Whenst did, did this happen? I... I will... I will conquer this house. Zelda has sensed an overwhelmingly evil presence. What does that even mean? She's got the willies real bad. Zelda was just hanging out and she's like, mm, you know, I'm just not vibing right now. Getting a real bad vibe. Okay. Keep Sabo Tour appeared. Damn. Okay, let's command Link to go here. Do a big thing, Link. Kick ass and maybe take a couple of names. Sorcerer's room is now open. Excellent. Wonderful. Love it. Love to see it. Okay. Let's get Darunia all up in. Actually, wait, hold up. Let's get you done and dealt with. Uh, Mr. Nugs, do you not see that I am busy here? I am in the middle of a mission, and I have my food that I have not finished eating. Can you chill? Can you chill a bit, buddy? I think maybe you could if you tried. Zelda is fighting with the re-dead knights. Well, uh, Daruni is going to join her in a second. <clears throat> that Beemos needs to get fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where is the material? There it is. Another Keep Saba Tower appeared. Let's have a two-hour. Let's have a two-hour flight. Uh, let's put Link up in this hallway. Actually, let's put Link over in this hallway. Come on, fucko. There we go. Okay. Let's put him back up here. Let's have him up here. 
and Link can clean up. I should probably actually have Darunia in the other one, right? You know what? Yeah, let's have him... in there, and he can... He can deal with the Keep Saboteur. Saboteur. You fucko. God damn it. Why am I okay in some of the poison, but not all of it? Did I dodge some of the poison somehow? Jesus Christ, these guys. There's so many of you. <clears throat> Christ, running all over trying to just retake the places I've already nabbed. That Beemos needs to go, because I'll bet you that that's a problem. Command Darunia to just take this place. Alright, now Link, you need to take this place back. Boss has appeared. Keep boss is gonna get his ass stomped. I'm gonna take out his minions though. Okay. Let's have you get there. I hate when you come in here to take a keep and there's only a handful of dudes in here and they don't start spawning in crowds until until you finish killing the ones that are already in there. Okay, this guy's going to take longer to deal with than I actually have. Supposed to be fighting him. It ought to be right in here, right? Secret room. Okay. You need to get out of my face. Fantastic. You captured the magic keep. Link between rooms has been broken. A link between rooms. Ha ha ha. That's funny. Magic pathways have all been severed. Does that mean. Puppy, what is? Do you have to go out? Do you have to go outside and pee? Do you have to go out, puppy? You, you gotta wait, okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on. There we go. Let me get that Beemos. Let's get this thing out of here. <clears throat> okay. So that's basically... 
all the capturing that needs to be done. Everything else is clean up. Let's go beat this bitch. In a fight she started. Okay, so this was one of the coolest fights in uh, Ocarina of Time. I really enjoyed the Shadow Link fight, or Dark Link, whatever he's called. And it's funny because uh, the Breath of the Wild tunic kind of almost makes him look like he's wearing the Zora tunic, which would have been like what you'd be wearing when you fought him. But yeah, he, he ain't shit there. And while Link is like over leveled, um, if that really were a Shadow Link, like like a Dark Link, whatever, right? If that was a mirror match like it was supposed to be, he'd be as strong as I am. So. More Dark Links have appeared. That's okay, they're all shit. Stop them from rampaging? Okay. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, how about, first thing... Grab it. Excellent. Command. Dark Link. There we go. Where'd he go? Where is that fucking clown ass? There he is. Let's go deal with him. Where's he even going? We've not seen his intro yet, have we? I probably just shouldn't skip any of them. Like, even if they have been shown before. Although I don't think Legend Mode repeats intros like that. I know you'll see them every single time in Adventure Mode, but I don't think this one does that. Although it might, who knows. I just may not be paying that much attention. Jesus Christ. Treasure may be located in the South Garden. Defeat, okay, so. Hold on, Link. Send him down here. To the South Garden. There we go. <laughs> Escape through the Rose Garden in the West, huh? That's the exit? Okay, but what if I don't want to exit, huh? What if I just want to kick a bunch of ass? Rally Captain is about to encourage forces from the West Garden. No, he's not. That dude ain't about to do shit. Defeat the Rally Captain. 
Uh, okay. Three, one second. Chest sighted. Not what I was hoping for. Wrong kind of treasure. It's probably in the East Garden. Yeah, they're all in danger, aren't they? I shouldn't be dealing with that. I should be sending him... Well, to deal with that first. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh god, there's so many enemies. Stop the Dark Links from rampaging. How? I only got two out of four, though. <clears throat> Let's get Darunia up there fighting the other ones. It revived itself? How can we help Link against an enemy that can't be killed? Rally Captain's plan is foiled. Dark Links are being revived out of in the sorceress's room. We must capture it. Okay. I can do that. Fend off the Dark Link. Link must advance to the sorceress's room and defeat the Dark Link. Okay. Well. That's okay. We can make that happen. We can help that along, actually. While he's running here. He's still running on the map while my super's going. I know that tends to, like, pause things in the immediate area. I guess it's only in the immediate area. It stuns the people who are just, like, affected by your move. That sucked. It wasn't even directed at them. But they're both down now, so. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Everybody needs help. Holy shit. Guys, you defeated the enemy. Yeah, open the door now. More Dark Links have appeared. Oh shit, Christ. <clears throat> God, I forget how you're even supposed to handle this. I remember being a big pain in the ass because of these Dark Links. And like, you, ha you really have to be careful to like, capture that last corner to get the treasure before you finish off this whole level. Yeah, everybody here. <clears throat> Real strength only comes from knowing your weaknesses. Right, cool, whatever, man. Wait, how is Phi standing there and also the Master Sword is in his hand? 
I mean, I, the answer is very obviously like, oh, the time warp. Let's do it again. Um, but yeah, I, I got nothing beyond that. Seems a little, uh, a little disconcerting if you... It's a little immersion breaking if, if you think about it too hard, which is any amount at all. See, it has summoned bullshit. Oh no! What a hooer. Puppy. Right, you need to go out, don't you? See, it has left the battlefield. Well, that's good for her. I guess. Zelda has fled. Okay. High ruling forces have lost the battle. Okay, so... Where did I go wrong? Zelda needed help and I didn't go there directly, I guess. I sent Daruni instead of going and fighting. Restart from the checkpoint, I guess. You know what? The puppy is... wanting to go out, so I'll take him out and I will take my break at the same time. Because we're a little bit past due for that, so... Get up, stretch pee, do what y'all gotta do, and meet me back here real shortly, okay?
Okay, I'm back. I'm good. I'm ready. I am shitless. My bowels have been emptied. Link must advance to the Sorpress's room. Okay, well, Darunia... Actually should be down here with Zelda. I want that... I want that happen. I want that happen. Oh, and you know what? While I'm down here... Let's just... <clears throat> yeah, there we go. I'm gonna deal with this fuckwad. Darunia can clean that up. And Link can fight the Dark Links. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna have... Link choose your battles carefully. <laughs> like I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, last time I didn't. But that's why I have Hammer Guy out here now. <clears throat> to help you out, Princess. And actually, Link can... Uh, Handle himself for a hot minute while we deal with everything else in the foyer here. Link's a big boy, he can swing his sword. You know what? Fuck the both of you guys. They're dead. And I'm taking this keep. Get out. You two, you need to fuck right off, buddy. This ain't your party anymore. Assholes. Alright. Let's fight the Dark Links a little bit, and we'll let Darunia reset over to Zelda. He'll just run back over to her automatically, because that's the last command we gave him. And as long as we don't change that, he should run back to her wherever she goes. Yeah, great. God, I can't wait until Zelda's health drops to that threshold where she's like, Oh my god, help me! And then I switch back over to Darunia and it just instantly full heals. Where do these fucking big mobs of enemies keep coming from? I know some of them ran in through the front gate. It seems like there's a bunch of them spawning in and around that room there, though. And did I... I was gonna say, I didn't just leave behind a big crowd of dudes, did I? Hey, yeah, what the hell is with... Over here? What's up with that? Why is there a big chunk of you guys here? And what happened to the outpost? Who the fuck did that? You shit knockers need to fuck off. They're coming up from the bottom, that's what's going on. Darunia, baby. Can you deal with that? Please and thank you. 
You defeated the enemy. Kachow. There's three of them in here now, huh? Ooh. Ooh. They gotta give a shit. <laughs> Alright, let's grab that. Heal that motherfucker. And... Sia has summoned something. Oh, she summoned a bunch of bullshit. That's what she summoned. Okay, well, this guy, this Darunia guy. <clears throat> I can't believe this big crap hasn't gone. That one station sent up a, a bunch of dudes to go fuck up that one room, but this group can't walk like 20 feet to go deal with that guy that outpost there. Let's just take what we can here for the time being. Give me two seconds. Let's put Big Hammer Boy over there. You're getting all cut up. Burnt Bandage Boy. And you as well. Nice. Trim these numbers a little bit. How about you, huh? How about you go away so you don't spawn more? So that my guys can get their numbers up a little bit. Man, there's a hell of a lot of dudes to to get rid of, but on the upside, that means that, like, already I'm looking at, like, something like 3,000. I mean, a good chunk of that was with Darunia, but, like, we're getting a lot of kills for the Master Sword, which has, what is it, a 10,000 and a 15,000 uh, cost ability on it? Defeat the bullshit. East Garden is now open. Good. Oh, good. A whole bunch of bullshit. So Min is running off. Just teleported to the southwest. Alright, well, peace, Midna. I guess. Oh god, and now they're sending people up from the south there. Son of a bitch. Okay, they can handle that hallway. <clears throat> Link. You need... to deal with him. Okay. Darunia needs to go... Oh, Skilled Summoner, huh? That's who that is? Okay, we're doing... We're almost done with this one. immediate assistance. Oh no! Shit. Command Link to help Zelda. Go help Zelda! Ganondorf is fighting with Zelda. Well, I sent the right dude. Sent the right guy to deal with that. Okay, hold up, and <clears throat> let's send Darunia to the East Garden. Now that Zelda's is fully healed, I can relax on this for a second. Victory conditions have changed. That's a cool attack. 
fucking Goron roll. Nice. Boss, come on. Yeah, no treasure chest? What the fuck? God damn it. <clears throat> well, I don't know where else, like, the heart pieces and shit are supposed to be. Because we didn't find them, did we? That's not it. Um, unless there's one... Unless there's another secret room opposite the first one there. Which I don't think there is. Yeah, juggle that bitch. Ha ha ha! Knockout blow with the dick. All right, we killed it. Do do do, beat up bo ba bo. Link scarf and a bunch of other bullshit. And a puzzle piece to do do. Sick. Valley of Seers. <clears throat> Is that the epilogue? Shining Beacon. Uh, how is that the epilogue when it's like. Doesn't the epilogue come after everything or. Whatever. Let's see what we can do here. Do 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 do. Ganondorf shit. Uh, we can get rid of shields faster. Or, sorry, we can get rid of weak points faster, or we can uh, do more chip damage with guards up. I think making weak points diminish faster is probably going to be better in the long run. Ooh, Impo, what do you have? You got combos, girl. Goron armor, best best plate. Yeah. It's the best plate. Uh, fucking shit. Let's give her the combos. Right. Uh, we want combos, first and foremost. Also, what is that? Right, of course. Read dead bandage. Eh, yeah, we, we got enough of those. Spend them on the guy I'm not going to use them for. Or that, that I'm not going to use for a while. Don't need that. I can use that. Let's do that. Do 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 Hang on. Ooh. Oh wait, yeah, one and three, right? Wait, shit. Oh. Wrong care. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I thought that was going on somewhere else. Ooh. <clears throat> Let's do that. Hmm. Combos and chip damage. Nice. All right, harp combos. And then we're back here. So can make sure Impa's got everything she needs there. And. 
Yeah, we can give her that as well. Might as well, I guess. Impa's kind of slow, it feels, like with her, her big heavy chop attacks. Um, the Naginata's a little bit better. She's a little quicker with that, but uh, it's... Definitely feels slow with the other one, with the, the big sword. Oh shit, I could... Mm. You know what, let's do this. Weak point gauge over chip damage. <clears throat> ah, Sky's here. Welcome, buddy. Welcome. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. Hope all's good with you. Sky said, oh my god, you're still on. Do you hate me for missing your birthday? No, it's alright, man. I, we weren't, we weren't able to stay on lo long. Um, the game I chose wasn't running well. It was, uh, it was all, all stuttery and shit, so we had to switch to something else. And by the time we switched to something, uh, this uh, storm was rolling in and I kid you not sky like I shut the stream down and maybe 10 minutes later the power went out so there there wasn't much of a of a stream anyways but it's it's all right man people got their own things to do I don't uh, I don't blame anybody for not being uh, here for it I expect y'all to have your own lives and be doing your own thing that's cool Is that an omen? <laughs> no, that's just Canada. That's just how it is here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I used to think that I was going to die at 26 from doing something stupid, but... I made it to 29, so clearly I was wrong there. So, I, I don't know. I... <laughs> I think I'm pretty good for a while. Um, I think we are going to cut here, though, tonight. It... Fuck, it's only 7.30, but it's so dark out now. Yeah, it's definitely fall. It's definitely, like, the end of September, because, like, it's only 7.30, and it looks like nighttime again. Yeah, it's, it's that time in Canada. Wonderful! I love it so much. <sighs> well, that was that was all right. We got uh, we got a good chunk of levels done for uh, for that for Hyrule Warriors today. We got I think one or two more levels left, and then we uh, and then we start like the the second story or whatever. That storyline continues for a while. Um, we've got. There's one more arc, which is a handful of levels, and then there's uh, the final arc, which I think is my favorite in that set, and uh, hopefully we'll unlock uh, some cool characters doing that. But that won't be till next week, maybe? I don't know, it depends on how we get through Digimon this weekend. Uh, tomorrow's my day off, I'll be uh, trying to get some work done and, and whatnot. Uh, Thursday, Friday this week, I think we're going to play some DMC5. We're going to check that out finally. And then, yeah, Digimon on the weekend. So, get excited or don't, your call. Either way, whatever. Uh, very specific age. 30s are boring. Enjoy your youth and stamina while you can. I try, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I found out that there is a new skate park that opened up um, across town. And, uh, mom got me a nice little carrying bag for my, my roller skates. So, uh, either tomorrow or maybe like Friday or Saturday on the weekend, uh, I might take a cruise down and see what the new skate park is like and roll around and, uh, you know, get some end of season shit out doing on my skates. Get some shit out doing on my skates. Sign up for uh, ESL with Bone Score here uh, after the stream, guys. Make sure you remember to do that. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I can. I can definitely feel. I was. I was talking earlier. Um, I can feel earlier. 
I was talking earlier that I can feel a, that my body is already starting to, you know, get tired and more fragile. Um, I can't quite... I can still be, like, as active as I used to be, but the impact on my body is a lot harder. I can still, like, climb up into a tree and then jump out, but, like... I'm now aware that jumping out is going to result in serious damage to my knees that probably wouldn't... Well, I, I, you know, it didn't happen before. It didn't used to happen, but now I'm acutely aware of, of what's going to damage me. And it's a lot more than it used to be, and I don't like that. Fucking Hyde loves posting that meme of, uh, like, the last scene of Avatar where um uh where ozai is like what have you done to me and ang's like i took away your bending but it's um it's your 30s taking away the bending from your knees he loves posting that meme and i'm i'm really worried about how fucking accurate that is I already have enough problems with my legs. I don't need shit going on with my knees. I used to have problems with my knees, I think, because I wasn't getting enough milk. It was, like, calcium deficient or some shit. But fix that. It was, it was that or... Something happened where, like, my kneecaps were, like, chipping and I don't know. There was, like, this really weird pop every time I would bend my legs, and it was not great. I can't remember if I fixed that or if it just stopped happening or what. It doesn't happen anymore. My knees don't pop. Thankfully. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, but yeah. I will be back Thursday? Thursday. To play some Devil May Cry 5 with you guys. Which apparently is all the Devil May Cry that will ever cry maybe with devils. I should probably go lie down. <laughs> so thank you everybody for coming to hang out tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. It was really cool of you. Hopefully I'll see you here again. Till then, stay inside touch grass, be, have a good night, everybody. I'll see you later.